Hello, hello my crochet friends. This is Sarah from Ned and Mimi and in this video we are going to crochet a unique stitch which is a combination of a single crochet and a half double crochet all combined into one single stitch. Now this stitch can be used as a decrease stitch but it can also be used on its own to create a gorgeous textured washcloth like this one. So this stitch pattern is super easy and it's also reversible so it looks equally good on the front and the back. Now I do have a free crochet dishcloth pattern to accompany this video and that's available on my website nedandmimi.com and I have linked to it below and in the written pattern I've also included instructions instructions on how you can modify this stitch pattern to make it any size that you like. Now before I get started I do want to tell you that the washcloth pictured here is actually part of a set of three coordinating patterns that you can also find linked below and each pattern is completely unique but together I think they do make a really lovely matching set. In terms of the materials that you will need, you can really use any yarn and a suitable hook depending on the project that you're making. But for my dishcloth, I have used a worsted weight cotton yarn and a five and a half millimeter or letter I crochet hook. So without further ado, let us get started. So we will begin with a slip knot. And for this stitch pattern, we can chain any multiple of two plus two, so any even number. So I am going to chain 14 to start. Okay, so that is my starting chain. Now when I'm working into my chain, I actually like to flip it over and work into these little bumps here at the back. And I just feel like it gives a neater edge. So that is usually what I do. So I'm going to skip the first chain from the hook. So this chain does not count as a stitch. And we're going to begin working into the back bump here of the second chain. So to start, we're going to just insert our hook into that back bump, yarn over and pull up a loop. Now we'll yarn over again, insert it into the back bump of the next chain, yarn over and pull up a loop. Now I have four loops on my hook and I'm just going to yarn over and pull through all four loops. And that is the first stitch made. So this stitch is a single crochet and a half double crochet, two together. So now we're going to chain one and go on to the next chain. So we're just worth the same stitch again. We'll insert our hook into the back bump of the next chain, yarn over and pull up a loop, then yarn over, insert our hook into the next chain, the yarn over and pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through all four loops and that is the second single crochet half double crochet two together and then we'll chain one and now we're just going to repeat that stitch pattern all the way along the chain Okay, so here we are. We just have one more chain left to work into and I'm just going to finish off the row with a single crochet in that last chain. And that is row one done. So that's the trickiest row. Working into that chain is always the trickiest bit. So once that's done, the rest of it is going to be much, much easier. So let's go straight into row two now. So we will chain one and turn our work and that chain does not count as a stitch. And this row is basically going to be a repeat of row one. So we'll be working our single crochet, half double crochet, two togethers, followed by a chain one. So let's go straight into the first stitch. We'll insert our hook, yarn over and pull up a loop. Now I need to insert my hook into the chain one space. So this is this space here, right under that chain one from the previous row. So we'll yarn over, insert our hook into that chain one space, yarn over and pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through all four loops and chain one. Let's repeat that again. So we'll insert our hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. Now we have our chain one space right in here. So we'll yarn over, insert the hook in there, 
yarn over and pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through all four loops and chain one and that's it that's all we need to do all the way along so for the single crochet part we're inserting into the stitch and then for the half double crochet part we're inserting into the chain one space and we'll just repeat that all the way along the row And now we are at the end of the row. We just have one more stitch here left to work into. And we are going to finish with a single crochet in that stitch. And there you have it. That is everything you need to know to work this stitch pattern. So now all we need to do is repeat row two for as long as we want to. And the end result will be this simple textured dishcloth. And you can also see here that I have added a simple single crochet border all around the edge for a nice neat finishing touch. I really hope you have enjoyed learning this stitch pattern and if you do have a second to subscribe that would be absolutely amazing. I have lots more tutorials and patterns on my channel and website nedabmimi.com so do check those out. Happy crocheting and take care.